Hello and welcome to ESPN Crick Info Dailies. I'm Adrian Abraham. Our top stories from the world of cricket today are Jadeja and Rohit dismantle Bangladesh, Pakistan fend off Afghan scare, Burns, Stone and Denley pick for Sri Lanka test and Karun Naya to lead board president's 11 against the West Indies. To the Asia Cup and Ravinder Jadeja marked his return to the ODI side with figures of 4 for 29 to pin down Bangladesh to 173 in the opening match of the Super Fours in Dubai. Despite losing wickets cheaply throughout their innings, Mehdi Hassan along with Bangladesh captain Mashrafi Mortaza put up a 66-run partnership for the 8th wicket. In reply, India captain Rohit Sharma scored his second consecutive half-century with an unbeaten 83 to ensure his side handed Bangladesh their second defeat in two days. The other Asia Cup encounter on Friday was made more engrossing thanks to a fighting performance by Afghanistan. Batting first against Pakistan, they were just 94 for 3 halfway through their innings before Hashmatullah and skipper Asuka scored briskly, also helped by very ordinary fielding. In response, Imam ul Haq and Babur Azam hit 50s and had just played out Bahabad Dhabi's spell before Rashid Khan struck twice to make it a tense finish. Pakistan would go on to lose 7 wickets in the chase, which was only salvaged by a composed half century by their most experienced player Shoaib Malik. To other international cricket news, and England have announced a 16-man test squad for the tour of Sri Lanka in November. Rory Burns along with two other uncapped players, Ollie Stone and Joe Denley have been named in the squad. There's a recall for Somerset's Jack Leach, who joins Moeen Ali and Adil Rashid in the spin department, with a 32-year-old Denley also available as an option with his leg spin. England will play three tests, five ODIs and a T20 international with Sri Lanka in a tour that will last over a month. And finally, batsman Karen Nair, who was benched throughout India's test tour of England, will lead a 13-man board president's 11 squad to take on the West Indies for a two-day practice match in Vadodara. Hanuma Vihari, who was selected ahead of Nair for the fifth test against England, also found a place as did Mumbai batsman Prithvi Shaw, who was also called up for the final two tests in England. Uttar Pradesh left-arm spinner Saurabh Kumar and Tamil Nadu pacer K. Vignesh were rewarded for impressive performances in the Dulip Trophy. West Indies will play two tests, five ODIs and three T20s in their tour to India. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.